Welcome to the 5 Minute English Vocabulary Podcast. My name is Herbert Lee and I'll be your host. Now you can easily improve your vocabulary without memorizing long lists of boring words and still develop a powerful command of English. You'll learn the origin of words or etymology, told as easy to remember stories. You'll also hear some jokes and learn some idioms as well. Episode 10 New Materials, Part 1. In this episode, we're going to be talking about new materials. In school, you learned all the old materials glass, plastic, wood, paper, metal. You probably didn't learn is new materials. These are high tech materials, materials from the 20th and 21st century. So let's get started. Teflon. Teflon is a type of nonstick coating that is used on many objects, including cookware and frying pans. The coating helps to prevent sticking and makes it easy to clean. Teflon is also commonly used in ovens and other cooking surfaces. Teflon was invented by accident at a DuPont laboratory in 1938. Roy Plunkett was attempting to make a new CFC, a type of refrigerant, when he noticed that an empty canister. Weighed as much as if it were full. Cutting the canister open with a saw, he found the bottle's interior coated with a waxy white material that was very slippery. That was the invention of Teflon. DuPont soon saw the potential of Plunkett's discovery and began mass producing Teflon. But it wasn't until 1954 when the wife of a French engineer. Mark Greger asked her husband to use the same substance to coat her cookware to stop food from sticking to her pans. Then the true usefulness was finally realized. Teflon can also be used to describe someone who manages to avoid criticism and keep a good reputation even after they've done something wrong. So, in a sentence, you could say, The Teflon president survived the crisis. With his reputation intact. John g o t e y was the head of the Gambino mob in New York. He was arrested many times, yet he was able to escape the courts every time. American media dubbed g o t e y the Teflon Don in reference to the failure of any charges to stick. In recent years, Teflon has been found to be cancer causing or carcinogenic. And it's a good idea to stop buying and using Teflon cookware. Stainless steel, silicone, carbon steel, and ceramic cookware make excellent substitutes. Velcro. Velcro is a long lasting adhesive fastener. Originally designed as a fastening system for fabrics, it is now used in many other applications, including shoes. Bags and labels. Velcro was invented in 1949 by a Swiss engineer, George de Mistral. The idea came to him one day after returning from a hunting trip. He took a close look at the burrs of burdock that kept sticking to his clothes and his dog's fur. Under a microscope, he noticed hundreds of hooks that caught on anything with a loop, such as clothing. Animal fur or hair. He saw the possibility of binding two materials in a simple fashion if he could figure out how to duplicate the hooks and loops. Hook and loop is regarded as a key example of inspiration from copying nature or a mechanism of nature, and this is called bionics. The basic Velcro material is a fabric strip with hooks. The basic Velcro material consists of two different strips. One strip is a strip of small hooks, another strip is made of small loops. These are attached with adhesive to two separate pieces of cloth. When the two Velcro strips are put together, they lock in place and fasten the two pieces of fabric together. Kevlar. Kevlar is a very strong and lightweight material made from carbon fiber reinforced polymer. It is often used to make bulletproof vests, helmets, and other protective gear. 
Kevlar is also used in aerospace engineering to make lighter and stronger parts for aircraft. Stephanie Korlick, a research scientist at DuPont, invented Kevlar. Kevlar's most famous use is in bulletproof vests. Fifteen layers of Kevlar are sewn into a vest. These vests have saved thousands of lives. For her discovery of Kevlar, Kolek was awarded the DuPont Company's the Voisier Medal for Outstanding Technical Achievement in 1995. At the time of her death in 2014, she was still the only female employee to receive that honor. During the week of Kolek's death, the one millionth bulletproof vest made with Kevlar was sold. In a speech she gave, she said, I don't think there's anything like saving someone's life to bring you satisfaction and happiness. Kevlar is used as a material in more than 200 applications, including tennis rackets, skis, parachute lines, boats, airplanes, ropes, cables, and bulletproof vests. It's also been used for car tires, firefighter boots, hockey sticks, cut-resistant gloves, and armored cars. It's even been used for protective building materials like bomb-proof materials, hurricane safe rooms, and bridge reinforcements. So that's our episode on New Materials Part 1. Listen next week for New Materials Part 2. Until then, this is Herbert Lee saying bye for now. <music>